One idea was to try and send some messages to some people that were on an island nearby. They were under Japanese control. And somebody got the idea that we could float them in. OK, what do you float them in? And then my friend said, ah, we could try condoms. The worst part was when she went to try and get them from the doctor over <laughs> at the <laughs> You told me this story. <laughs> and she said, went into the doctor kind of quietly said, hey, doctor, I need some condoms. And he kind of slipped her a couple. And she looked at him and she said, but doctor, I need 500. <laughs> My dog walker, Monica. We didn't meet until, what, two years ago? If we hadn't moved in here, we wouldn't have met. That's right. Oh, the chef salad? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because we were in different parts of the world, and when we were both in Washington, it was a, strictly a need-to-know basis. I don't think I talked about it with anybody after. No, I didn't either. Most of my people I knew the most are gone. You, after a while, you run out, and no one is real, was really interested in hearing any war stories. That's right, yeah. In the first place, they probably didn't believe us. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, the second place, I mean, who cares? I got scared a couple of times, but not much. It was because we, a ship in the harbor of the old city blew up and broke all the glass in the building I was in, and the glass went across the room and buried itself in the wall. Ooh. Had I been at my desk, I would have been decapitated, no doubt. I've been doing the journal for the uh, OSS Society, and the obituaries are the ones that have been growing more and more and more, and it's sort of a sad part of the, the newsletter to have to edit that part of it, but the, just, it's just sad that they're all, all leaving.